Hello, welcome back to day 23 of Nadite Lane, where everybody is... Everybody who can fight fires is fighting fires. Um, we're going to see if we can hold this fire back and stop it from spreading further to the north. Uh, there's more people waking up and getting to it now. Um, now what we did do was to bring the home zone down here, but maybe we should expand it a little bit further and get them starting on the fire here. Um, who's going home? Right, uh, Caleb. Um, Boris. Eki. Uh, not that. Eki. Uh, apple and almond. Oh, there's apple. Almond. Yeah, head back down. Uh, no deadlock. Uh, Anubis. Yep, you guys go ahead, put out the fire. What am I? What do I think I'm doing? Uh, no, no, no. Go put out the fire. Um, Minty, you should be working on this break here. Let's keep expanding this home zone down. Uh, Minty, come cut that grass. We are not going back to bed. We really need this fire break. See how everybody else is getting on. So that's doing pretty well. In fact, if we can get this out, the fire probably won't spread beyond this point because it will have already burned to good bit of fire break for itself. Maybe. Yeah, maybe we'd best just keep Minty on there. In the meantime, we shall expand the home zone to include the rest of that particular little fire. You know, Minty, this would be a lot faster if uh, you didn't keep on trying to go back to bed. Well, the guys down there have done really well. Uh, where 
where's the fire now? I think. Have you put that bit out? Right, well, well, we'll let everybody take a break from that. We've got the fire break halfway cut. We've pushed the fire right back and it's raging down here. We could hope for some rain to put it out. Oh, thank you, Anubis. Anubis is actually holding something in there. Uh, Apple, why don't you do something like that too? Um, for that matter, uh, I could also haul while I'm on my way up north there. Okay, back to business. We did actually stop all of the work on uh, on clearing this area. Uh, so we should mark all of this back up now. But you know, we don't actually need to do that top row there. We should remove that door and put a wall back, which is going to knock the temperature down indoors again. In fact, while I'm watching what's going on here, I think I'll focus on this because we need to do it as sort of as fairly swiftly as we can. that the the farm's not open to uh, the air for any longer than it needs to be. Oh, is it's gone for a wonder. Okay, me go uh, work on the granite wall. Wow, temperature dropped very rapidly. Okay. So let's see if yeah, it tries in again. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going for a walk. Well, if I'm going to go for a walk, mind you, my mood's not that wonderful. Uh, yeah, I'll just let myself do that. Meanwhile, let's get the next gun in. Adam getting on with his training. Oh, he's a hauler now. Uh, right, well, what we should do is um, Adam, we will allow you to roam the whole home area. And you can go do hauling whenever you feel like Oh, the fox is hurt. What happened to you? Ah, oh, you've attacked a rat. And let's just see where we've got our home area down here. We'll expand it just there as well. Mm. 
We'll start putting out any fires that get into this area. Okay, so Melon, you are fully healed. Uh, how heal? Yeah, you've still got a shattered rib. Rib. We'll see what we can do about operating on that. Um. Have we got any haulers around? Yeah. Okay. So, our deadlock is busy with the torches. And Adam, what are you doing? I wonder. Just roaming around. Oh, mad animal! A local muffalo's gone mad. Okay. In that case, um. We need to get uh, Mia safe, Wizard safe, and everybody else close. Let's see where this is. Alright, have we got anybody in the area? No, Nordic's actually the closest. Uh, so, Nordic, if you could get yourself in here would be a good idea. wherever you are let's get you in here um, melon mm, deadlock and um, where's spidey Actually, all the way over there, right? I'm going to leave you where you are for the moment. Now, uh, Melon, instead of going external, can you come up here? Who has? best gun. So Deadlock if you can man that gun and Nordic if you can man that gun. Okay, um, Melon, uh, we want you out here. And let's not make the same mistake as we did last time. And we'll get you guys in pretty quick. Oh god, Anubis. Very good. Anubis. Oh, it's outside the allowed area. Right, let's sort that out again. So, um, you guys are unrestricted and Wizard Mirror close. Okay, so Anubis, can you haul in that muffalo? Everybody else, get about your business. Everybody's had a good lie in this morning after uh, firefighting all last night. Oh, look, there's that rat. Not that there's much meat on it. Uh, 
and Minty, what are you up to? You're harvesting a strawberry plant. I think it might be a good idea to keep on cutting this fire break. Fire's getting close to our home zone. Where are you going, Apple? Oh, you're actually bringing in that rat, okay. And Nordic, what you... Wow, the plasteel comes all the way back to here. Oh, and it's snowing, that's excellent. Well, that will put out the fire anyway. I wonder whether we can pull in any of these animals. Hmm. Looks like it's only that raccoon. I assume that the snow will put out the fire on that raccoon. Although it's still burning. Well, we'll see. Now, what am I up to? Eating. Uh, who, again, who's a hall around here? Right, me. Come and haul that. And then haul that. There you go. Then go do whatever takes your fancy. Melon? Oh, you're out hunting. Okay, as soon as you're finished hunting, if you can get back onto tailoring, that would be a really good thing. these walls so I think we shall um, put a wooden door in here now We can cancel the fire break to the south. By the time we need it again, it'll probably have uh, grown back. Uh, now, Eki, how are you doing? You're upset about Callum dumping you. Disturbed sleep, shared bedroom, ugly environment. Uh, where exactly are you? Hmm. Yeah, maybe we should do something about that. Wouldn't take much to pretty this up a little bit, and people do tend to hang around here. Dead men's armour vest. Well, do you know, we can fix that. Yeah, drop that. Uh... 
And is there anything else we can do to improve your mood? Eight without a table. What are you doing? Are you working on keeping the torches uh, going, which is good. Ah, circuit breakers are finished. Okay, so we are then going to get on to Devil Strand. Okay, and I think we are done out here. It's had to put some floors in. So we want a sandstone mosaic there. And then we'll have, oh, we need to get some more limestone. Well, we should have some. Uh, well, we should be able to get some because there should be plenty around. Okay, and that's all for today in Nidite Lane. Uh, do join us again tomorrow where... Oh, weather's turning, isn't it? Minus 17 outside. I think tomorrow we'll be focused on getting some of these works done. Getting the places floored, we can remove that door and we can um, start turning these bedrooms into like proper rooms. Once we've got, as, as well, as we're getting that going, I think we need to start expanding our power facilities because our batteries are ever so slowly running down. Now we've turned off the, the components assembly bench and um, something else as well that we weren't using, we turned off. Can't remember what it is now. Oh yeah, the comms bench. So the comms console. So we'll have to switch that back on uh, if somebody comes into range. But um, yeah, we could do with a bit of extra electricity. Um, we do need to get some circuit breakers in. So that's going to start being our our main focus. Um, I wonder whether Eki might benefit from his own room. Yeah, we'll think about that. Anyway, but for now, we're going to move Boris into this room. Um, we'll cut a door through here uh, eventually. That's going to be Minty's room because Minty spends most of his time in the uh, uh, harvesting crops. And this is going to be Mia's room so that he's as close as possible to the kitchen. Um, and then the people who spend the majority of their time uh, within the sort of core area of the base will be the people who are living closest to the base because we'll expand the bedrooms out to the to the east and make ourselves a, a living zone here right well thank you for watching join us again tomorrow and see how this unfolds bye for now there were four of them all houses Together in Nidite Lane, together live Boris and Anubis. Anubis was always sorry about something. Next door came Minty and Nordic, and Minty really annoyed Nordic by calling him a beast all the time. And the next house was noisy, cause Apple and Melon always had domestics. But it was the fourth house that the police were interested in because Power suit Sal kept me in the closet. They all live together in Nidite Lane.
colourful place to be. We all live together on Ned Eye Lane. Although together is a little bit subjective. At Boris's and Anubis's, there was a man who could be sometimes mistaken for a hobo smelling of alcohol trying to climb the walls. But it's okay, because it was Anubis's Canadian cousin, drunk Spider-Man, and a little Santa's helper could be seen going house to house. It appeared when someone got tired of Almond, the gist Hand them on to the next surrogate parents. They all live together on Ned Eye Lane. A colorful place to be. They all live together on Ned Eye Lane. Although together is a little bit subjective. It seems they pissed off the neighbors. Something to do with the peel P50 dragon children But that's just Boris No one questions him Cos that's what happens In Midnight Lane